In this video, I'm going to go over some of the best tools to help you create, publish and sell books for your publishing business on Amazon KDP. And best of all, they are totally free. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline. And if you are new here and you like these types of videos, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on new videos that I upload every single week just like this. There are some tools out there that can be really helpful for when you are publishing books on Amazon KDP. There are tools out there to help you do niche research and to find topics to make books on or niches to go into. There's tools to help you do keyword research for your KDP SEO to help your book get found by customers. There are tools to help you design and create your books. And then there are just tools out there that are purely just to make your job quicker and easier than doing certain things manually. Some of these tools are paid. In fact, a lot of them are paid or you do have to have a subscription for you to use. But there are lots of tools as well out there that are extremely helpful to your publishing business. And the great thing is a lot of them are free. And that's what this video is all about. Free tools that can help you create, publish and sell your books on Amazon KDP. So let's get straight into some of the free tools that I use in my publishing business. And the first one is Helium 10's Chrome extension. Helium 10 does have a suite of tools for people who sell on Amazon. Their tools are not exclusive to book sellers or book publishers. They are also suitable for people selling physical products through Seller Central or Amazon FBA and things like that. But it does cost money to get access to the Helium 10 suite of tools. But they do have a free Chrome extension that you can install and use when you are doing research on Amazon. I'm just on the amazon.com website in the marketplace. I've just done a quick search for coloring book just so I can show you how the Helium 10 extension works. So if we just scroll down and we'll choose any book to look at. I've opened up an enchanted coloring book. And if we just scroll down here, there should be some information from Helium 10 about this particular product. So this is the Helium 10 Chrome extension. What this extension can give you is historical data on a product of its sales history. This will show the sales rank, which is the popularity of this product in the Amazon store and how it fluctuates throughout the year. Shows you things like the sales price as well. So this is good for if you want to see if a product is evergreen. So whether a product sells year round, whether it only sells at certain times of the year or whether it sells at all and historically what it's sales rank is to see if these types of books are selling if you're looking for a particular niche to go into. It shows you historical data all from all time from when the book was first launched through to a year, a month, seven days or the last 24 hours etc. So you can pull some really great information on sales data of a product historically with this particular plugin. The other great thing with Helium 10 is it does have this other tool called X-Ray. So what is good for this is when you are on the sales page like that and you're looking looking at all the search results, if you click on X-Ray, what it shows you is a summarized version of every product on that sales page. So you don't have to scroll through all the different um, search results and all the different listings to get some sort of top level information. X-Ray will show you the product research from that sales page where everything's right there in front of you. And it basically is just a much quicker way to see every product on a particular sales page. The next free tool that I use is DS Amazon Quick View. And this is another free Chrome extension that you can install into your Chrome browser. And it just saves you so much time when doing research on the Amazon store in the Amazon marketplace. And you want to see information about all the individual books that you would usually only get by going into each book's sales page individually and looking for all the product information there. DS Amazon Quick View is a fairly simple plugin, but it just makes your life so much easier when you are doing research on Amazon. There is some information that you re might really want to know about a particular niche or about some search results or products that usually you can only find by clicking on the product. Let's say you want to know the bestseller rank so that you can determine whether books are selling in a particular niche or if you just want to see how popular a book is or something like that, you would 
usually have to go to the product listing, scroll all the way down here, and you'll find the bestseller rank down here under product details. With DS Amazon Quick View, it just summarizes it all right here under each listing in the search results. So instead of having to individually click into every single product to find this information, it's just right there and it is just a time saver. So you can see this little box here underneath the listing in the search results. This is the DS Amazon Quick View. So you just get a really, really quick view <laughs> of the bestseller rank of every single product. And it just, like I say, such a time saver when you're doing niche research. The next tools that I want to show you is actually a suite of tools. This isn't just one tool. There is a few within this suite that I'm going to show you. These tools are created by self-publishing titans and this particular brand and the husband and wife team behind this brand are extremely successful with low content book publishing on Amazon. So they've created a bunch of tools for other low content book publishers to just make life so much easier and quicker. I'm just on the self-publishing titans website now the first few tools i'm going to show show you are more related to things like niche research keyword research and the first one we have here is a kdp book category finder so if you have published low content books before you might know it is quite tricky to find a category for our books to fit into because amazon was never really created for low content books so sometimes you can have a bit of trouble finding a category for it to go into but this particular tool is very helpful you just pop in the type of book that you're making and it will come up with suggestions of where your book could possibly fit within the categories on KDP. The next free tool that they have is a KDP BSR sales calculator. So that's the bestseller rank calculator. A bestseller rank is a number given to every product in the Amazon store and it basically determines a product's popularity in the Amazon store. So the lower the number, the better. So this is good just to have a look at books that are on Amazon to get an idea of whether they're selling, how many books they're selling every month or how many books you need to sell in order to beat that particular book if you're trying to compete with other books in your niche. So basically, let's just say you have had a look at a book on Amazon KDP. You've got the bestseller rank and the bestseller rank is 10,000. You can also choose whatever store you're looking at. So if you don't sell mainly in the US store, you can select a different marketplace. And then we calculate the sales and it will estimate how many sales per month and how many sales per day that that particular book could be getting. The next tool that we have is a royalty calculator. So this is just helpful for you to determine how much royalty you are going to make from whatever price you set your book at. So you just pop in all the details of the book and it will give you the breakdown of how much royalty you would make if you sold that particular book for that particular price, how much the printing cost is, how much you would get if you had it in expanded distribution. And one great thing about this, so an ACOS is when you are running ads through Amazon ads, the ACOS is the break even point. So it's the point at which you are no longer making money, that ad is costing you money. And obviously we want to make money from our ads, not for them to cost money. So good to know what the ACOS is, which is the advertising cost of sales, so that when you are running ads, if you choose to do that, you have an idea of whether the ACOS is meaning you're making money, you're breaking even, or you're losing money on that particular ad. It's very helpful to know. And I love that this just gives it to you right there in the breakdown. The next free tool that they have is a QR code generator. If you use QR codes in your books, QR codes are becoming very popular, a very popular way to insert into your book to provide a link to something. Something else that self-publishing titans have is they have two free Chrome extensions that you can install into your Chrome browser. One of them you, you can see here, it just pops up on the top of the search results on the Amazon on marketplace and what this does is it gives you some really great information about this particular niche and it also gives this score so a keyword niche score to help you determine whether this niche is profitable whether it's selling whether it's too competitive not competitive enough whether there's demand or not enough demand and it just helps you determine whether this may be a niche that you would want to go into and create books for the next instant extension that they have is this Amazon search suggestion expander. So the way that this works is when you're typing into the search bar up here, let's search for journal. As you're typing, Amazon itself will have a drop down menu of searches that its customers have searched for in the past or recently. And it's a good way to see is this particular product or is this particular keyword something that customers are actually searching for. Amazon's drop down menu has maybe I think 10 related 
keyword searches in the drop down menu from the search bar. When you've got the Self Publishing Titans extension installed, it gives you heap more keywords that customers are searching for on the Amazon marketplace. So from typing in journal, the extension brings up all these other searches that customers are doing and there's a huge amount of them and there's so many things that you could use this for. You can use it just to get ideas on the types of books people are searching for. You can use this for keyword research if you're looking for keywords to put in your seven keyword slots or words to use in your title or subtitle, optimizing your listings for search on Amazon to help your books get found. Now that is already a lot of tools but there is still one more that I want to show you and they actually have a free tool which helps you create low and no content books. It's a software that will just make it so much quicker to create the actual books, the interior of the books. And the reason it's going to make it so much quicker is you don't have to do the calculations yourself in terms of trying to work out what size your book needs to be when you need to add trim and when you need to add bleed and all that stuff to the pages. So it's a great free tool for creating low content books. It has all the sizes that are available on Amazon. Let's say we're going to choose a six by nine, then we can choose the type of book we're going to create. They already have a set of pre-made interiors that you can use. You can just click on it and it automatically inserts it into a book. If you also want to create a book that has different types of pages in it. So let's say, for example, you want to create one of those notebooks where they have a notebook page and then they have the dot page. You can do that and you've got one page lined, one page dot, and you can add all the different pages in here, however you want to make the book. So from there, we can go on to the specifics of the page, whether you want bleed or no bleed, how many pages you want to have. You can even adjust things like how far away, how far apart the dots are. You can adjust your page margins. And then from there, that's basically it. Your book is ready to download. And once you download it into that PDF format, it's going to meet Amazon's requirements on what they need in terms of your book size, your margins, your page trims and all that sort of stuff. So a set of really great tools from this particular brand, this company who just make tools that are really helpful for other low content book publishers. Canva is the next free tool that I sometimes use and that you can use to create the books, create the interiors for your books and or create covers for your books. I say that I use it sometimes because personally, I prefer using Adobe Photoshop and word processing programs to create my books, but I do use Canva sometimes and I think it is really great for beginners or for people who don't know how to use some of the professional graphic design software out there. And while I do think it is best to have the pro version of Canva, depending on what you are using it for, you can sometimes get away with using the free version just fine and that's sufficient. But it all depends on the types of books you are creating. It is basically a graphic design program with inbuilt creatives and elements that you can use in your designs and in the documents or products that you're making within Canva. But it is a very basic version of a graphic design program. You can do some really basic graphic design stuff within Canva, but depending on the types of books that you're making, like I say, it may be enough for what you are doing. It also comes with creatives and elements that you can use in your designs. So images, clip art, icons, things like that, that do come along with the free version. All right, so this is the inside of Canva. This is what you see when you log in. This is the dashboard where you land. And basically you can choose from all sorts of different templates that they have available. If there's something specific that you're looking for that you don't wanna start from scratch, you've got templates that you can use. Otherwise you can go to create a design. And for example, so I'm gonna say that I'm doing a six by nine inch book or cover or something. We click create design and this is where you come through to your canvas where you can start creating whatever it is you want to create. You can create an interior, you can create your cover, you can create some other document that you might be creating in relation to your books. So this is where you get access to different creatives and elements. We've got some uh, graphics, images, things like that. Let's say you are looking for a flower to put on the cover of your book. Search for whatever it is you're looking for and it will bring up every image or element that they have available to you. If you hover over them, you can see whether they are free or pro. So there is a free version to Canva and a pro version. Like I say, I personally think the pro version is going to be best if it is something you're going to be using consistently all the time to create products, books and documents and things. You can see which ones you have access to, the ones that 
might have the crown and say pro you can only use in the pro version if it doesn't say anything then you can use it in the free version they also have fonts that you can use and it's a similar thing there are some that are only available in pro but there are also lots available in the free version as well and you also have access to all other different types of elements like if you just want to use shapes on your design these are all included in there as well so that's the very basic high level look at canva and what you can do with it and what you get as part of the canva membership the next free tool that i think is very useful is the bookbolt free downloads section bookbolt is a tool for doing niche research on Amazon specifically for no and low content books. And it is a paid tool and one that I do talk about in quite a lot of my videos, but they do actually have this other section to their software where you can design and create low content books within the book bolt application they also have some pre-made interiors that you can download and use to create low content books and this is the part of their software that i'm talking about as being a free tool that book bolt provide for creating books so when you're on the book bolt website if we head over here to resources there is something that they call an interior wizard and as you can see here they've got this section for free kdp book interiors so we just click on this button here and this is going to take us to all the interiors that you can download for free what you want to do first is just set what you want the book to have whether you want it to have bleed or no bleed what size you would like it to be and how many pages so let's say you want a 120 page book now from here you that stage where it is and you just go through and click on the interior that you want as you can see there are some that are available for members only so if you do have a book bolt subscription then you will be able to access access all of them but if you only are looking for something that they have on the free version then you are more than welcome to download it for free so they've got blank pages notebooks music sheets some to-do lists and some more involved interiors that you can download and just save a lot of time rather than create it yourself downloading it already pre-made and using it to create your books and there are lots of interiors available to download and there are lots of free ones to download so while there are some for members only there are lots that are available for free when you don't have a book bolt subscription one thing I do just want to make a note of just a little side note whether you are downloading pre-made interiors from book bolt or anywhere else I highly highly suggest that you change that interior you edit it you make it unique in some way don't use the interior exactly as you download it if you can help it because obviously there are going to be lots of other people downloading and using these interiors as well and you don't want to be uploading books that just look exactly like all the others out there you want to make it unique somehow whether it's changing font just changing some of the wording adding something adding an image or making it different from when you download it I hope you find some of these tools or all of these tools useful with your publishing business on KDP. You don't always have to spend a lot of money or any money at all on tools to help you work faster and smarter with publishing books on Amazon. If you do find these types of videos helpful and would like to see more like this, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.